the hometown side returns with confidence and credentials tonight. The best team in the West makes history, entertaining for the very first time ever, the Philadelphia Union. West, Mark, six games, six different lineup brought to you by Home Depot. And the one change to the lineup tonight comes here with Alan Gordon making his first start since the 2-0 loss back in August of last year against the Seattle Sounders. Remember, that's the one when David Beckham got the early red card, changed the landscape of the game. But I really like the midfield, specifically in the middle with Birchall and Juninho. I think that duo has been very solid over the last couple of weeks. As we turn over to the opponent, it's the first ever matchup, as you've mentioned a couple of times, against the Philadelphia Union. I think the players to keep your eyes on here are not only Danny Califf as a central defender back there at the back, but these two players right here, Alejandro Moreno and Fred. Moreno, you know, he's one of the best goal poachers ever in the league, always able to draw fouls. And then you have Fred, great going forward in the attack, but he can be exposed as far as coming back and helping out defensively. It is the first meeting between Philadelphia and the LA Galaxy, but they're not complete strangers. For more, we check in with Jackie Pickering on the sideline. Think that they keep that unbeaten run going. They'll try and make it six straight unbeaten with the match here tonight against the Phillies. Last time out for the Union, a 2-1 loss. That was Saturday at New York. They also played on Tuesday night at New York, but that was a U.S. Open Cup game, not a Major League Soccer game. Same score again. They lose 2-1. That game was expensive for them because they lost their leading score. And he, he alluded to it, a little bit of a clumsy challenge, and looking at the video, I think you have to agree with it. First chance down, and here's Edson Buttle with the left track, run across, and a chance and a goal! A.J. De La Goza, 1-0, L.A. Well, we were asking questions over the last couple of weeks with Edson Buttle being so hot, who would be the player that would step up and also take some of the scoring load? I don't think any of us would have said it's going to be A.J. De La Garza. Great back post run right here, and the feed from Edson Buttle as he continues his hot streak. Lots of little ball here from Juninho into Stevens. The rookie provides a nice ball into space. Buttle lifts up the chin, and a back post finish there for A.J. A counterattack. Jordan Harvey with that interception. Jacobson with a shot, and Ricketts was moving to his right. I believe his feet will come back towards the middle of the goal mount to swallow it. I'm not sure if Donovan Ricketts maybe took his eye off this for a moment. It had very good movement on it. For kicks. Gordon, stopped by Seitz, loose ball. Buttle tries to heal it. Buttle shovels it in! Well, it's Alan Gordon actually with the first strike with the head right there. Give credit to Chris Seitz. He makes a good save, but spills it right in front. And isn't there a saying about if at first you don't succeed, try, try again? Well, watch Edson Buttle right here. Tries the cheeky little back heel right there. It doesn't work out. Blocked. Gets it right back to his feet. And then just places it in the corner. Doesn't try and power it home. Watch. Just puts it in the corner. Eighth goal of the season. And here's Donovan now from Stevens. And again, he has Buttle. This time he gets it. Edson at the top. Edson scores again. Oh, it's ridiculous. That's the ball here from Donovan. He knows that Buttle's making that square run. And you see right at the very end, Buttle halts his run to stay even with the last defender of Philadelphia. And a good finish here for his second goal of the game. That's her there, Juninho. Hard challenge, a late challenge from behind, and that's going to draw a crowd. And Reyes, the referee, right in the middle of it, keeping guys off each other. Oddly enough, it's Stefano Emilia Ronzi, the player that comes in with that late, late challenge. And it's a straight red. Red? Red card. Red card, Emilia Ronzi. Yep. That right here. Watch this tackle. The ball gets stuck in between a couple of players. From the right side of your screen here... Here it comes. Boom, right there from behind. Better angle here, Janino. So uh, just out of frame. There it is. I, I mean, I guess it's chance to serve this ball in. Goes far post. Nobody there. Now on a bounce. There's Donovan. Blast from the top and parried away by Sites. We've seen this big boot by Virgil before. Just Bang. picks it cleanly. Sides, the only thing he can do is carry that one away. Great layoff, though, from Janino. Maybe not on a silver platter defensively. I almost wonder if there's one as well for Ricketts for shutout. Chance. Here's Fred now on the turnover. The three on two. McInerney, the kid, and he scores! 
check, McInerney! Bit too much. No reason to dribble that ball right there. Just keep it safe. Fred leads the break into the space for McInerney. And he finishes home. His first ever MLS goal. Donovan. Mathis. Top of the area. Couldn't get it back to his right foot. Kazumba, left footer, goes wide! That's a glimpse of things to come. Interesting. Good 25 yards straight out. Stepping into it, and that is it. Mercifully, it comes to an end. The Galaxy put three on the board in the first half. 18 Dale Garza scores 53 seconds into the match. But another game-winning goal for Edson Buttle, as it turns out. Another brace, as you mentioned, four multi-goal games now for Edson Buttle. Certainly one of the stars tonight.